Hello, everyone. It is Friday. Good to be with you. And it is in the evening. And I am glad to uh, finally get a chance to uh, spend some time with you. And I hope and pray it's a blessing to you. Hey, remember tomorrow, Saturday, we have Men to Men, 9 o'clock. And so I encourage all you men to, to be with us. A uh, good time of prayer, good time of food, a good time of, of spending time in God's Word. So come and be with us, will you? Also, of course, Ladies, uh, ladies, uh, the uh, there's a Valentine's uh, get together for you, ladies. Six o'clock tomorrow evening. So if you have any questions, you can call my wife. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I heard from uh, Dwayne Bruner today. He had um, some cancer removed uh, yesterday, and everything went well according to what he said. And uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a sort of a long road of of, of healing. Uh, he's got 20, at least 20 radiation treatments uh, that he's got to go through. And so pray for him and just continue to pray for his healing that God's will be done. All right. Uh, I know he would appreciate it very much. All right. Well, let's get started with our devotion. You know, we've been, we've been talking about, um, you know, temptation and, and not yielding to temptation and blessed is the man. And yesterday we, we, we talked about the the passage there where where uh, it it mentions in Psalms 119 that before I was afflicted I went astray remember that well that's exactly what we're talking going to be talking about today and the bible says uh but then after that uh because of the affliction you know I you know according to what the psalmist says he kept God's word well, we have an example of that in the Apostle Paul. And in 2 Corinthians in chapter number 12, he says this. 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. By the way, that phrase is used twice in that verse, verse seven. You know, as you're probably no doubt you're familiar with this particular passage in this context, and you know that that the Apostle Paul was, uh, he had the ability, God gave him the ability to receive abundance of revelation. He was able to, to understand and see things uh, as far as spiritually that maybe no one else could at that particular time. He was able to, to, uh, to, to know things and uh, the abundance of revelation. And, uh, and so uh, as a result of that, um, apparently this was something that was in Paul's life the temptation of being exalted above measure. In other words, thinking more highly of himself than he ought to think, pride, feeling his life, things like that. You know, how, how interesting isn't, isn't it? When, boy, things are going well and somehow it goes to our head, we, we may think that, boy, look at, look at me, look how wonderful I am. And maybe there's people around you saying, oh, you're really good. Boy, you are a blessing from God. And you know what? It could go to our head. And so, you know, we have a lot of Christians today, sadly to say that, boy, God is blessed. God has really worked in their life. God has done amazing things. But you know what? Somehow or another, it's gone to their head and, and they, they've gotten to the point now they don't even need God. They don't worship him anymore. They don't humble themselves before him anymore. They don't do anything. And that's sad. Well, we find according to this particular passage of scripture, the Bible says because of the abundance of the revelation and because, uh, well, according to what it says, unless I should be exalted above measure, something happened. And that is this. The Bible says, he says this. He says, I was given a thorn in the flesh. I was given a thorn in the flesh. Now, I believe that that thorn probably came from God. That God allowed this in his life. Now, what it was, we don't know. We don't know if it was physical. We don't know, we don't know what it was. But we do know that like a thorn in the flesh, it probably hurt. 
that there was probably pain involved. And this probably continued. I don't know. And it's also described, listen to what the Bible says. I was given a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me. In other words, no doubt it was it was something that's maybe I believe Satan was using to tempt him and 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 maybe even try to get him uh, discouraged. I don't know, but it but it was literally causing him pain. And 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 the reason why was so that he would not be exalted above measure, that he would not be maybe filled with pride and things like that. And so God allowed Paul to have a thorn in the flesh. And the reason why, so it, it would keep him in check, that it would remind Paul that, you know, he still needed God. It reminded Paul that, you know, hey, you're not as great as you really think you are. And, and you know what? You're only who you are by the grace of God. Boy, all of us need to be reminded of that, don't we? And that without a doubt, there are things that, that take place in our life. There are things that, and, and you know, as a result of it, it humbles us. And, and we ought to allow it to do that, to, to keep us uh, where we ought to be, not above measure. I don't know what that might be in your life. I don't know. But I do know this, we need God. And you and I ought not to live our lives thinking, I don't need God. We ought not to make decisions without God. You know, we ought to learn to accept what God has done in our lives. And that no matter what it is, God, I can't do it without you. And so I challenge you today. Don't allow the blessings of God in your life to exalt you above measure. No matter what God has done, no matter what, how much God has blessed us, can I tell you, we always need the Lord. And so may we be thankful and may we humble ourselves. And so if we have a thorn in the flesh, May we not fight it, but may it always turn us back to the Lord. May it always make us fall on our knees and, and, and exalt him who truly needs and who truly uh, deserves the glory. Not us, but him. May the Lord bless you today and may you and I humble ourselves before him always. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the precious word of God. And Lord, whatever it is, whatever, uh, Lord, the thorn in, in, in our flesh, dear God, may we respond correctly and may it keep us from being exalted above measure. And Lord, may we always realize we need you. And may we trust you like we should. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you and looking forward to seeing you this weekend. Bye.